Hi ladies. I'm starting a couple minutes early. I gotta clean off my desk though. My desk is a big mess as usual. You guys know me and my my ridiculousness. Anyway, I hope you guys are all doing good and I hope that you guys are having a great week. I have been having a good week. I've had a good week so far. I'm feeling like I can, you know, get some stuff done and and all that. So I am looking forward to hearing how your week is. It is like, according to quite a few of you guys in our Facebook group, it ha it has been horrendously hot. Hi, Brenda. You're finer than a frog's hair. Did you get your computer stuff fixed, Brenda? Hey, Susan. I started a little early today, you guys. I'm. It's hot as hell here. Isn't that terrible? Hi, Jennifer. It's going good. I'm doing. I'm having a good week. How are you guys? Are you guys having a good week? Do you love my messy desk? It's like the mess has exploded. Oh, I. Oh, good. Oh, I'm happy for you, Brenda. Good luck. I mean, uh, you know me. I have my own computer issues. So, what have you guys made this week? I have made a lot of painty papers. I'm trying, I'm really trying to use my book blocks. You love my desk? My desk is always like, a, you know, I can't, I cannot craft neat, okay? I cannot craft neat. I'm not going to lie. Can't craft neat. Try, I try. I have the best of intentions, but it just doesn't happen. So, um, what I thought we would do tonight when everybody joins us in a little bit is we would, um, I even have my Martha Stewart scoreboard on my desk. So Hottie broke down and bought me this. I don't even know what the occasion was. I, I guess I had told him I wanted a scoreboard a million years ago, so he bought it for me. I've had it for a while. I, only, I used it way back when I did that project. You know, the... My head can't think today. The flag book project that we did. <laughs> Brenda, you've made trouble and noise and mayhem. Oh, girl. You have no idea. My life is like... It's been crazy. So a couple things I thought we'd work on. We're definitely going to sew in, um, we're going to sew a journal, the, a journal in, we're going to sew the pages into a journal. I'm not ready to sew them into my shabby chic journal, but I know many people have never sewed pages into a journal. So I thought we would do that. So I have, I got an envelope and I just got some coffee or I don't know if they're coffee dyed or tea dyed papers that I'd made. And I thought I would just go ahead and sew them in, and so everybody knows how to sew them in to their own journal. Hi, Bet. I missed you girls this week. I've been in my own crazy world. It's been, it's been good. So I thought I'd, we would we would go ahead and um, sew that in. Then I thought maybe we would start on our meander books. Did anybody catch Caged Fish today? She did meander books because I had talked to her about it last week. So she did like a rough thing of meander books. I thought, you know, like a plain, an outline on how to do it. She did a special thing. Hi, Fran. Is it Fran or is it, it's Franna. My eyesight is a little bad today, girls. So you watched after the live? Yeah, you have to go back and watch a really old one of her, Susan. She does one where she works in it. And I think that's really what will appeal to all of you. But it's not a difficult process. So I tried to find mine. I've made like four or five of them. They're still in the garage. We still have not resolved all of our organizational issues. Hi, Sarita. How are you? So who's going to craft along with me? So this was my idea. So we could do a couple of meander books. Um, we could do a plain one. And then this is a piece of serendipity paper on a, made on a brown paper bag, a shopping bag. Hey, Jen. And I was thinking that we could, I could cut this one up and start making a meander book out of it. This is my 12 by 12 sheet of, sheet of scrapbook paper, just so I would have it as a template. So you can see how to make one out of trash, you know, like out of, these are all my painty pages, you know, my painty book pages, and they're just glued down like serendipity paper. Instead of it being really small like this, I made it bigger, and I haven't stamped or anything in it because I didn't know if I was going to use it as a glue book. So you guys game for that? 
Hi, Phaedra. Phaedra, you got a, the most amazing haul from your from your estate sale. Thank you for posting it. It was really encouraging to all of us. So those of you that want to just bind a journal with me or just bind a basic junk journal, get a, this one's going to be made out of a six by nine envelope and just have some coffee dyed papers in it. And I'm not going to decorate it or anything. I'm going to save that for later. Although, you know, for all of you, it would be better if you decorate it before you make it. But the cool thing is, if you, it, it's not necessary, so, I'm sorry, I've got so much stuff on my desk. It's not necessary. I also wanted to show you guys some of my, I found my bag of paper clips. Remember I, we, we did the paper clips last week or whatever, the, we were making the flowers and I was showing you guys how to, oh, I clipped it in the bag. Hi, Elaine. Hi, Colleen. Oh, thanks, Colleen. I'm kind of a trash to treasures kind of girl, so if you're here expecting like high-end supplies, you're in the wrong place. <laughs> so here's my here is how some of my paperclip embellishments came out that we made, you know, with the hidden paperclip that we made the other day. Well, not the heart ones; those aren't hidden paperclips. But you can see like that we made out of the magazine pages, and this one out of the serendipity paper. So you can see, and this one's you know like a corner I traced it like to be like a corner edge of a of a page for something but here's my magazine page ones so I hope you guys are all get keeping your magazines oh good craft along and make some cards you guys please don't feel obligated to do the project I'm doing at hand you know do what you guys need to do pity Brenda I did make a load of pity pat pat pages I totally did I'm trying to use up all my book blocks. I'm trying to, I know it's sort of a, I have a whole bunch sitting under my desk and, hi Pam. So I told you guys I'd show you these and these after they have diamond glaze on them. I don't know, can you see the, can you see the shine or no? These are just book pages, magazine, those are just from a magazine page and these are from the serendipity paper. And then here I'll show you a couple of clips I made. Remember we made those, um, we made the the serendipity paper when we, were, when we were making ornaments and I cut these out and they're both sides so I just put them on like little paper clips this one these are just like the inexpensive ones that you get at you know at the office supply store I actually kind of like them a lot better than other ones because and you could paint it or cover it with washi tape if you wanted to but I just added some beads on it and then this one is one of those little bull nose clips from, I don't know, somebody sent it to me in some Happy Mail. You love the diamond glaze? I do too. Now, for those of you, <laughs> I need to copyright Pity Pat Pat pages. Okay, Brenda. <laughs> I love you, Brenda. <laughs> what I wanted to let you know is that, you know, those of you that don't have diamond glaze, use your fingernail polish. You know, use what you have. Don't, like, think you have to do it my way. And then here's um, ones that I made from just magazine cutouts, you know, and then I did the hidden paper clip on the back and it's got packaging. They're made with food packaging, probably pasta boxes or cereal boxes, or maybe they're, maybe they're even, um, maybe they're even stuff top stuffing boxes. Does that make you laugh, you guys? So, tell me what's new in your world, girls. I want to hear all about it. I want to hear all about what's going on with you. I want to hear. I was going to show you guys some other stuff I made, but I don't know. Honestly, you guys, I don't know where I put it. Oh, no. You put band-aid. <laughs> Brenda says she puts a band-aid on her blisters and then call, and covers it with washi tape and then calls it art. I love it, Brenda. The reason I like these clips, and I it's just my personal preference, is that if you wanted to clip them on so that they're not, you know, because you can bend the, the wires around, they'll be more flush in your journal. Your sorting papers. You didn't miss anything, Amberly. What kind of papers are you sorting, Elaine? 
You guys should see my mess. Okay, I'm still in the middle of my calamari, my conmari, um, my conmari thing. I'm still in the middle of my. I finally decided I'm really gonna do it. I'm really gonna just embrace her, her thing, and. I am going to be a little bit more lenient in my crafting supplies in that area than I would with my other stuff because some of the stuff, I may not love it, but I can use it, you know, and I'm, I'm definitely not, a, I'm definitely into more recycling art. The Pity Pat Pat Paper, Brenda, so I was just, it was, the story was this, Phaedra, it's ridiculous. It's my ridiculous life. So the story was, you know, He's, my partner is always making fun of me, right? He's always, like, making fun of what I, he's just, he, he, he has a really great sense of humor. So he, he, he calls my art, like, when I'm making, like, especially when I'm making, like, this sort of stuff, or I'm making jelly prints, he calls it Pity Pat Pat, because he says, he says, I, he's a fine painter, like a fine artist painter. Not that I'm not a fine artist painter, but I don't take myself so seriously, so I don't have any qualms about my version of abstract art and his version of abstract art. He thinks and thinks and thinks that mine is, you know, like he says, this is, this is his version of how I do it. He says, I just like get some paint and I'm like, and it's done. And it, and it comes out, um, good. That's what he says. So he calls me pity pat pat. He says, and so Brenda calls me pity pat pat. Cause he says, that's what my art is, is pity pat pat. Like I just like touch it here touch it there and it's like and it makes it out he is he paints are really beautiful things too he's just a more uptight painter than I am I, I'm more of like I don't get myself stressed out over it does that make sense so how many of you guys want to bind a journal how many of you have not bind, bind yeah it's ridiculous hi Mildred how's your house Hi, Cassandra. Hi, Ann. If you guys want to talk to me, talk to me in all caps, okay? Because I'll get caught up in my pity pat pat, and I won't, um, and I won't even know. So, and I won't even know that you're talking to me, and then I've been told that people scream, or telling me, yeah, basically telling me over and over again, stuff and I'm not hearing you and it's not on purpose okay so basically you guys binding a journal is as easy or as difficult as you make it okay so if you want to remember we did the I think I have it close by let me see if I can I'll get up and look for it remember we did the Any Dory, as somebody was making fun of me because I said Any Dory, how, how we did the Traveler's Notebook, Midori style notebook binding. This is just an embroidery needle and that's an embroidery floss. Um, that's one way to bind a book. Another way is, oh, I should have come with some journals, you guys. This is like how I am. This is my life. Another way is to do a twine binding, which is where you sew your signatures in and then you sew your signatures together separate and then you wrap wrap um twine or something around it let me see if i can find a journal close enough by you guys this is so ridiculous because most of the majority of my stuff is in boxes in the garage that is where my life is right now so i can't even i know i have the one that we did the twine binding i mean the one we did hang on one second i just saw it i just saw the example that we did give me one little second and i'll grab it Okay, so we did a, we did a traveler's notebook style um, journal right here, like a junk journal, okay? And with a traveler's notebook, remember I told you guys 
This was the elastic, this big roll of elastic that I got. <laughs> and I got it off of Amazon. And it was under $10. And it's probably like, I don't know, you guys, 100 yards, maybe even more. Okay. So, this was our traveler's notebook. Remember how we did this one? Where you poke two holes, one on either side. Let me see if I can take the signatures out. And I'll just show you. Okay, so for your traveler style notebook, you make your signatures like this. When you make your signatures, you these were I stapled together, but you can sew yours together, right? You sew them together, and I'm gonna sew mine in. And then you make for your traveler style notebook, it has at least two holes, one on either side of each other, right? And then you run your elastic through them. Okay. And then you you know, put your signatures in, and this is the type of this is the type of uh, traveler's style notebook is the type of thing that a lot of planners are. A lot of people like to use them. You can use them as junk journals too. Don't get caught up just because somebody says, "Oh, well, mine is this way." You can, girls, it is your art. You can do it any way you want. And this is the kind where, if you wanted to add another signature, you take the extra piece of elastic and you feed it through it and that sort of thing. Okay, so this is a traveler style notebook with those type of things. A twine binding is sort of similar, except it generally wraps all the way around or is on the back of the book. Okay, but a regular, you guys, I'm like so, I'm a failure. I should have like, you know, every week I have good intentions and then I forget. Okay, so it's not that I forget, it's just that I'm still in my calamari method. <laughs> I was looking to see if I had a really big darning needle. Okay, this one's kind of this one's kind of way too big. Um, maybe I'll just use this one to put the holes. So you don't have to go out and buy any special book binding equipment. Now you can if you want to, but until you know that this is something you really love. Hi, Kathy. Until you know this is something that you're gonna be like you want to do on a regular basis. Don't, don't, don't spend any money. Yes, you are the captain of your book, Scotty. How are you? So I use embroidery floss. You can use book binding. Um, I use embroidery floss for just about all of the things that I bind. Let me see if I have a contrasting color. And I, of course I have an enormous bat of it in my, in my KonMari method in the garage. Um, for those of you that don't know, I'm like having, having a minor, having a minor renovation <laughs> and all my stuff is not here. Yeah. Tell everybody where you're from. It's always nice to hear. Hi, Michelle. Hello, ladies. You guys, Michelle. Hi, Carla. If you guys want to chat with me, please chat in all caps because I'll miss it. You're from Las Vegas? Well, I live in Hawaii. I live in Maui, Hawaii, Colleen. So, my whole thing is I don't want you guys to go spend a whole lot of money on stuff until you know you really love doing it. If you know you love doing it and you want to spend the money, go for it. Hey, Lisa. But if you don't, if you don't know if you love doing it, don't, it, you know, I'm a big, I'm a big believer in using what you have in front of you. And then, as you graduate and you really start to enjoy doing it, then, then invest the money, right? Then invest the money in your whatever it is. But you really don't need much. You need eyesight to thread a needle. Okay, I'm just using regular embroidery floss. You can use wax, book, uh, linen, wax thread, wax thread. You can use anything you want really I mean any sort of string that you want you could even use I've even used scraps of fabric so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you guys how to quickly bind it now if you want to do a twine binding say you don't want to draw through your envelope or your book your you know hardbound book then you would go ahead and bind your pages together first and then wrap it around. I'll show you guys. I will look. 
for, I have a really big journal that I made one of my daughters that's somewhere. I, I, don't, I haven't seen it in a while. I, maybe she packed it. She didn't take it with her. It was the one I, that I told you is like a coffee table book. It has like a hidden pocket in the back and I did all the stuff to it. Anyway. So I'm going to cut my pages. And you know what? I'm not even going to take them to a page cutter because I'm just, I mean, uh, my paper cutter. I'm just going to cut them with a pair of scissors. So tell me what, how are you, Patty? Welcome, welcome. You guys tell everybody where you're from. Everybody likes to, hi, Grace. <laughs> what are you talking about, washi tape, Grace? What did I miss? What did I miss with your washi tape? I should have cut these before I sat down, you guys. I'm sorry, but it, I guess it really doesn't matter. We're just going to do one signature, and the thing is, if you're going to do two signatures, you do the same thing. You just measure at the back the spine of your of your envelope, or if you're going to do them in a if you're going to do them in a hardbound book, you know, just measure it out. Scotty's from Arkansas, and Nancy's from Jacksonville, Florida. Nancy, I lived in Jacksonville, Florida for a few minutes. Hi, Sherry. Texas, and Winnipeg, Manitoba, awesome. Robinson, Illinois. Hi, Amanda. So, I want to hear about your, everybody tell everybody where you're from, because recently, what we've had going on is people are meeting their crafty best friends, and that makes me happier than you know. I mean, you guys are my crafty best friends. I craft with you guys twice a week, sometimes three if I get motivated. But for the rest of my week, I'm on my own, you know, unless I can coerce one of my kids to craft with me, which they'd really think I'm crazy. From Chatham, Ontario, North Carolina. Awesome, Carla. I love North Carolina. Um, and West Virginia. Hi, Helen. Massachusetts. Awesome. Where are you from in Massachusetts? Southern Arizona, awesome. Well, I live in Hawaii. So, unless I can coerce one of my kids to craft with me, which they sometimes will. For the most part, they just think I'm ridiculous, but it's all good. Clarksville, Tennessee, awesome. Los Angeles, California. Awesome, Patricia. I love LA. The one thing you, you guys want to know about when you're making your um, coffee dyed papers, when you bake them in the oven, don't bake them too long if you bake them. Um, if the longer you bake them, the more fragile they become. Which I guess doesn't matter. Laura, you're from Montana? Awesome. Are any of you guys getting this crazy? Ash was telling me that, that it's going to be 109 in Portland this week. I was like, that is crazy. Yes, you can use food coloring, Colleen. You can make your sprays from all kinds of stuff. Food coloring, writ dye, coffee, tea, Kool-Aid. Or if you get obsessed like me with those... Oh, I know what I wanted to tell you. They have a $10 special for all of you guys if you want to go over to Create and Craft. They have, remember I told you guys about my sprays? Let me see if I have them close by. You know, my, my Lindy's sprays. They have on createandcraft.com um, five sprays and five magicals. It's like a set. I don't know the colors. It, they seem like more pastel -y colors for ten dollars. Now you girls, that is a deal because if you buy them separately, if you just bought the five sprays separately, they're like seventeen dollars and the magicals the same. So they're having, if you go on createandcraft.com and type in Lindy's Stamp Gang Sprays or Lindy's Stamp Gang, you'll see, or magicals, you'll see that they come up for ten dollars. Remember I told you guys I bought mine for five? Uh, but that was for the sprays. It wasn't five for the sprays and the magicals. There. So just letting you know if you guys wanted to go and try it out. 
Hi, Lisa. <laughs> Calamari. Oh, Cassandra, I used to live in New York City. I love New York. How's your house, Mildred? Amber, your daughter's making a junk journal? Awesome. I should show you the one my daughter... I will try to remember. If one of you guys rem reminds me in the Facebook group, I'll try to find the one my, my now 10-year-old made me last year or the year before. She made me a really cool trashy junk journal. Okay, so this is just copy paper that I've copy dyed. You know, you can use thicker or whatever. It doesn't matter. I have lived in lots of places. I've kind of moved around a lot. I'm from Texas originally. And I've lived in L.A. for a little while. lived in New York. And I live here in Hawaii. I lived in Jacksonville, Florida for like five minutes. No, for like two years. So, I know a lot. I, I've lived all over. Which isn't a bad thing, you know. Your house is great, Mildred. Oh, you have to share pictures. After you get it all like you like it, share some pictures on in our Facebook group. And for those of you that want to join us, we do have a Facebook group. It's for any type of crafter. It's not necessarily, you don't have to be a paper crafter. Um, and you don't have to be obsessed with recycling things like I am. You can be any type of crafter and join. And it's called Crafting Mamas. And it's a really fun Facebook group. It's just really about encouraging. It's not a swapping group. So if you guys are looking for a swapping group, it wouldn't be the one for you. Okay, so I have all my pages in here. Um, I think I have, let's see. So this is 10 pages cut in half and then folded so it'll be 20 pages. So this is perfect for a beginning junk journal if, if none of you have ever made one. You know, you can do it with junk mail, but I know some of you like to, you know, want to do like a more themed style journal. This is just the perfect, um, the perfect way to, to start. Hi Liz! Hi Dawn! So, I've got my pages, I've cut them in half, gonna, and then now I just sort of eyeball it. You want to have, you could do a three hole pamphlet stitch or a five hole pamphlet stitch. Now if you're going to do a three hole pamphlet stitch, you obviously want one at the top, one in the middle, and one at the bottom. A five hole is similar to you, but it's just more spread out. The sprays, the, the sprays are at creatingcraft.com. Okay, and I don't know which colors that are on sale, but I just, somebody emailed me and told me that the Lindy's Stamp Gang Sprays, one, they usually have a special on one particular set. Like, that's how I got that one that's like, I don't know, I got one that's called Mardi Gras. That was the one that was on sale last time. This time it's a different one. But it comes with both five sprays, and they would actually be beautiful for, for your shabby chic journals because they're more pastel -y colors and then five little jars of those magicals. And those magicals are like a pigment. They're a, 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 an acrylic pigment, or just a pure pigment, that when you add water to them, they become beautiful. You just use tiny, the ever so little, little tiny bit. And what's cool is that after they dry, they don't reactivate with water. So you can paint, like, you could paint and then paint over it again and do other things and it becomes great. What did you say, Grace? You got to a pat. You got a patch of pool with flexi tape advertised on TV. Oh my God! Really? Wow. You're going to Jacksonville on Thursday. I used to live in Jacksonville. I lived in an old neighborhood in Jacksonville called Avondale. And now, I mean, it was this is years ago, you guys. When my daughter was really little. Oh no, Mildred, you fell. Oh, I'm so sorry. I am so, so sorry. Oh, I hope you're okay. Yes, Rebecca, it is Trey Chic. You're right, it is. Hi, Rebecca. Thanks for telling everybody. It's the Trey Chic. And you guys, I'm not an affiliate of Creating Craft, okay? So I don't get anything from telling you guys. I'm just a deal searcher. Or a... You live in Jacksonville across the river from Avondale? Oh, Nancy, that's awesome. I loved living there. I really did. I had a great little house and I loved it. I thought it was awesome and um, 
I only lived there for a couple of years. My husband um, taught college there, and then we got tra- he took a job somewhere else. Oh, no, Liesl. How did I get to Hawaii? Oh, my God, Liesl. That's a crazy story. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm going to grab my tea. I don't know. I don't know. I think it might be a little early in the night to start talking about my stories. <laughs> I've inspired you, Grace. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. You guys keep me inspired. You guys, my daughter's so sweet. She came in, and I was making myself some tea before the live stream, and she said, Mom, I'm going to make myself a snack. Would you like one? I said, sure. Now, I'm assuming her snack is because she loves goat cheese. Her whole thing, she loves goat cheese, and so it's usually goat cheese on toast, goat cheese on crackers, goat cheese on, or I don't know. She doesn't call it goat cheese, but, you know, it's just plain goat, goat's milk cheese because she can't have dairy. So she makes me ready for this. So I'm expecting. I said, great, because I really haven't eaten much today. That would be so good if you made them. So I'm thinking she's going to make herself a piece of toast with some goat cheese and me a piece of toast with goat cheese. So I made my t- tea and everything. Okay, you guys ready? This is what she gave me. Half of a Pop-Tart. <laughs> That's a 10-year-old's idea of a snack. Half of a pop tart, okay. So she set it on top of my cup, my tea. She's so ridiculous. I love her. Okay, let me grab my phone book. Now, you guys, if you wanted to buy yourself a book cradle, that's great. But I use a phone book, and you can probably get a phone book really cheap just about anywhere. So a book cradle is two pieces of wood, and usually it has a slit. It has a little tiny slit at the bottom where you lay your pages in. But that's a ten. That's a ten-year-old's lunch. I mean, a ten-year-old. Uh, you hoard washi, Grace. Oh, I love washi, but it, it Donna it is sweet. She is very sweet. <laughs> I think she made some for her friends too, because they're all outside playing. They're. They were going to do. They were going to do a magic show later. So I don't know if I'm invited to the magic show. So back to the book cradle. A book cradle, and for bookbinders, is two pieces of wood, and it looks like it comes to a V, and it has a slit in the bottom. And generally, you would lay your pages inside of it like this, and then you would take your your all, and you would you know poke holes through it, and that would be how you poke your holes. This is the cheater version, a phone book. All right, so this is the this is the high tech cheater version, a phone book. So if you want to get all technical and everything, and you want to measure your, you know, get yourself a little template. I was just looking to see what I had. I have so much stuff, you guys, right around me. So did anybody make their Christmas cards? Did any of you guys do the Christmas cards? I saw that Lynn did. Lynn, did you guys see Lynn's? That's it. <laughs> Cassandra said that's the kind of snack her six-year-old granddaughter would make. You know what? I love my kids. She's my last one. All my kids are grown except for her. And I'm trying to just savor it, you know, and not, not make all the mistakes you make with your other kids. You know, like, trying not to be too of anything. My older kids, they're so funny. They say that the younger one gets away with everything. She doesn't really. She's actually really good, but they said compared to them, which is, that is true. Compared to them, she, she, uh, she doesn't have a, they discipline her. She sometimes cries and she says, you know, I'm like, what happened? Oh, they told me, whatever. And it's very funny. She like says, sometimes I, they think I'm their mom. They're my mom. I said, you're right. So if you want to make a template, the, the pros and cons of making a template are, you know, you can always lay it over your pages and do it all the time. The cons are the more you use it, the bigger the holes get. So <laughs> you made 20 flowers, Helen. Awesome. I love caged fish. Don't you love her, Sherry? I, ha- I watched her early. I watched her. She- I had talked to her last week, and I told her that we were going to do meander books. And so I said, will you do one, too? And so she did She did how to make a meander book, a templated one. I mean, you know, she gave you the basic template out 
um, design, which I loved. And we're going to work on that today, too. And then she showed you. Didn't you guys like seeing her cool, all the cool things that she's made? Now, the one thing you have to decide, so you guys see how I do my template. Isn't that ridiculous? So I poked my holes. I didn't measure it. I did not measure it. I mean, I could have, but I didn't. And I probably should make my middle hole just a little bit further. The one thing you do want to do is if you do make this template, you want to write top on, you want to write top and bottom because you, it's easy to get it mixed up so that you always know that this is the top. You know, and then that it's going that way. When you put your other pages in, I think it needs, this is the top one. I think the middle one needs to be a little bit. Okay, second one. So, what am I missing? You made, tw I'm glad you made 20 flowers. I am glad you made 20 flowers. Aren't those flowers like the easiest things ever? And you'll what'll be really fun is when you guys start getting all your wrapping paper for whatever occasions and you start doing it, you're gonna be like out of your mind. It's so fun. You're gonna be like making your you're gonna be making your You're gonna be making your your flowers out of everything and then you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, this is so addictive. Now the one thing you have to decide when you start to sew your um, pages into your journal is if you want it to have the, the if you want it to have the thread on the outside or on the inside where you're going to end it the bow or the tie or whatever some people end it on the inside and then they'll even dangle some journaling charms off and then some people just end it on the outside and they just tie it and then you can you can cover it. You haven't heard Meander book? Um, I don't know. You know what? It's been around for a while. If you guys have done book arts, I made a man. The first Meander book I ever made had to be maybe 35 or more years ago when I took a book binding class in, in school or, you know, or in art. Okay, so from this point on, you can decide how many you want to do at a time, how many pages you want to do at a time. I'm going to do three, I think. I'm going to put my template in, put it in the middle of my phone book, and poke my holes through with my... Now, if you have an awl, you can use an awl. I'm just using a darning needle. Just going to poke my holes through, okay? And then I'm going to keep going until I've done all 20 pages. But what's super cool about this is that if you guys decided you wanted to make like really just simple like napkin decoupaged journals for like gifts, this takes nothing. You can do a 20 page napkin decoupaged journal in a very short period of time. You don't have to add all the stuff to it. You can make it like a naked journal, you know, like where you send the embellishment separate so the person can do it themselves. What's ridiculous? What did I miss? Oh, it's eight dollars. Okay, Michelle. It's, okay, it is ridiculous for the eight dollars for shipping. But if you were gonna buy it separately, it would be seventeen dollars just for those sprays. So you'd have already spent the eight dollars. That's why I bought mine because it was, and it's more to ship here. It's definitely more to ship here. So I bought it because I mean. I bought mine because it would have been, Ash and I talked about it, it was like, I've been wanting those magicals forever, and Ash and I talked about it, and I had the same reaction you did, but I think it was even, I think it was $20 to ship it to me here, I can't remember, I bought more than the one thing because of the shipping, but, but I figured, you know what, I would have spent that much on, or maybe it was only $8 shipping. But I figured I would have spent that much money on just one if I'd gone to Michael's or whatever. Okay, so this is the part where you have to decide if you're going to sew from the inside. And I'm going to do mine from the inside. I'm going to leave my tail on the inside. So if, if not, you'd have to start your journal. You'd have to start the binding from the outside. Okay? 
So, poke your hole. Now that you've poked all your holes, I left one page out. Oh, well, that page just didn't make it. Okay, so now you've poked your holes. Now, this is the only part that you need to be careful of. You want to make sure you don't pull your tail all the way through. So, what I do is I paper clip mine. It is, you know what, it is ridiculous for the shipping, but if you want to try them, you're basically getting what would cost you for one thing for two, for two, you know, for the magicals and the sprays. So I think they're like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe they are cheaper if you get them um, at at a um, you know a craft store. I don't know because I don't have it here. So that was my only option. Okay, so now I've gone through the center and I'm going to go to the back. And it doesn't matter which one you go to first. You can go to the top one or the bottom one, and you're just going to poke your your needle through your holes. You're going to just poke your. What I might do is I might, let me make my holes bigger because you can't even see them from the back. What are you guys saying? I'm missing it all. Make sure you guys post your stuff in the, in what you're making. Everybody has been so encouraged by everything everybody's doing and that I really appreciate. Don't you guys, don't you appreciate being in a group where you can, um, where you can see everybody's work. I'm sorry you guys, I'm going to have to repoke my holes. My eyesight is so bad. I just can't see a damn thing. My eyesight's bad. Hang on, let me see right here. I'm make my light a little brighter. What did you say, Angelina? Hi, all. It's you. It's Anne from West Virginia. Two streets from Cary. Oh, awesome, Anne. Hi, Carla. We loved your stream today. I didn't get to stay till the end because I had kids stuff happened, but we loved your stream. We loved it. How many of you guys went over and saw her? I know two or three people did. Hey, Vicki. We loved your stream today. Guys, I'm so blind. This is what happens when you turn, when you enter into your 50s and you cannot, and you can't see. Who else is blind besides me? Are any of you guys, any of the rest of you blind except me? Because I am blind. I am blind and I can't even see where I, I can see where I poke my holes. Are the rest of you guys... It's like you don't realize how blind you are until you go to like thread a needle and if you've been a sewer your whole life and then all of a sudden... Maybe you take a little time off from sewing and then you go back to sew and you're like, I can't see anything. What was I thinking, you know? So, that, so you have one sewn in the center and one sewn in the top, all right? Then you're gonna go all the way down to your very bottom hole or the, the one that you haven't gone through yet. You're going to go through that one. What do you guys... You wear bifocals? I can't wear bifocals. I only have an astigmatism, but can I tell you, it just seems like... I've gone and had my eyes checked, and I went and, and I got new glasses. I think we were talking about this in your stream, Carla, one day, about the glasses that they give you. So they gave me these glasses, and then I couldn't see out of them. Well, we're happy that you popped in to say hi. And I think some of the ladies from our group, because I posted it in our Facebook group that you were on, and I know some of them went in to, and hung out with you today, so. But I'm glad you're here. You need a seeing eye dog, Susan? No. Okay, so they gave me these glasses. They tested my eyes, and, you know, I still have the same astigmatism, right? And then they tried to talk me into getting contacts, and I was just like, you know what, I've worn glasses forever. I'm not going to get contacts. I don't, you know what I mean? It's like, it's not the old dog new trick thing for me, you know? Okay, so do you guys see, this one was, the, I went into this one first, then it went out through the back and went through that, and now I'm going over all of them. And then I'm going to go back into the center hole. Well, they wanted to give me contacts. So I was like, I'm not, I'm not really, you know... 
I didn't really want contact, so I said no. You're going to go back through the same center hole that you went through the first time. And then you're just going to tie it. I usually put one string around one side, one string on the other, and I just tie it, and that's it, girls. That is as simple as it gets. Um, no, they wanted to give me contacts, and I was like, absolutely not. I'm not doing contacts. Well, I don't know what they gave me. They gave me some progressives, okay? You know, bye, Carla. We're happy to see you. What about if you have more? What are you talking about? More signature, more pages? Well, if you were going to do two signatures, you would do the next one. You would sew them in separately. You would sew the next one right next to it. Do you see what I mean? Like this one, this is just single, a single signature. But you know what you do is you would just line them up next to it and it would just be the next one would be sewn in right here. <laughs> so you would just move it. Here, I'll show you my one that I'm not finished because I was going to show sew in my shabby chic journal, but I'm not finished with it yet. Okay, so this has two signatures. See? So one would be sewn in, so the spine will be larger, so one will be sewn in here, and one will be sewn in here. The key is poking all your holes before you, before you, before you uh, put them in. Well, I'm glad I'm not the only one that didn't, I, I can't wear progressives, Cassandra. I don't know whether it is my stigmatism or what. I felt like I was, I don't know, I felt like I was nauseous the whole time. That's what I felt like. I felt like I was completely nauseous. So that's a basic pamphlet stitch, you guys. It cannot get any easier than that. So the thing is, is that you could... Now, remember when I showed you guys... Uh, I'll do it on my, my, shabby, my shabby Chic Junk Journal. If you make a handmade envelope, you could actually not close it sew your signatures if you want to hide your thread sew your signatures in through it then tie it on the inside and then glue your envelope shut so it'll be like an envelope you know pocket here you found a freelancer who sells the glasses at a discount they are it's, yes and calls my shabby chic journal scarlet okay the reason i decided i didn't want to sew my signatures in yet is because i think i'm going to spray dye my it's like a tutu. One of you guys told me it was a tutu, right? No, a square dancing outfit. Well, I've never worn contacts, Vicky. So for me, it's just like, I, I'm just, I've worn glasses forever since I was like 14 years old. So, so one of you guys laughed and called my uh, journal a square dancing skirt. So the square dancing skirt, Anne calls it Scarlet. I think I'm going to dye her lace and I didn't want to sew them in because I don't they're not all going to be the same color I was thinking I might spray dye them so did you guys did you guys get the, the whole journal thing do you want to do a junk mail one really quick or or do you guys want to move on to something else what are you writing I'm missing it all you guys talk faster sometimes than I get it Dawn, it's just really big. Scarlet is Scarlet is a square dancing one, and that's okay. I'm good with it. But isn't this, you guys, this is such a fast and easy thing that if you think about if you just did your serendipity paper on the top, like on the front, right? You took your piece of serendipity paper and you... Let me see where is some of my serendipity paper. Because I've got so much stuff on my... I had a piece, and I don't know what I did with it. What did I do with my serendipity paper? If you had a piece of serendipity paper and you you covered the front of your journal and then you just put the signatures in it and you gave a little few little pockets on the side and then your person would be like so happy. You did, Carrie. Awesome. I don't know where my paper is. You guys, I had a piece right here. This is what... Didn't we just talk about this last week about how like you have stuff on your desk and then a gremlin comes and then it's all gone? Well, this one's a little bit busy, but but you get the idea. Do you see how easy you could have like a really cool little one of a kind journal? <laughs> Contact stuck to your eyeballs. Oh no, Vicky, that would be horrible. That would be horrible. Anyway, so 
that is so simple. That is like the simplest you can get, girls. I mean, you could even serendipity paper your thing now, or you could paint it now, or you could do, you know, you could do it now. You could make a ton of these little journals, or get your paper napkins out and decoupage these, you know, decoupage your envelopes. Send it to one of your, send it as your happy mail to one of your friends, you know. Don't put the pockets in. Or I know what, which one of you guys last week was talking about that you needed a, a, a list journal, a, a bullet journal. Make your own. Quit spending money on stuff you can make out of your trash. That's my bot. That's my, I mean, think about this. A ream of paper. How much does a ream of copy paper copy cost where you guys are? A ream of copy paper is what? I mean, they're about $5 here. So you get, what, 500 pages in a ream of paper? So for your 500 pages, your ream of paper for 500, 500 pages, and this only has 10 pages folded, which made 20 pages, you figure it out. You could have 50 journals for $5 if you made 20, little 20 page, little six by nine, or. Uh, six by nine envelopes, which end up being like four by six for the cost of three dollars. Okay, so that's even better. I don't know, Mildred. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll put some serendipity paper on it. Maybe I, it was just to show you how to bind it because I promised you guys that we would bind our, our shabby chic journals and I haven't, haven't finished mine. I haven't, I'm not totally, I, I, I want to do a couple more things to it before I finish. And, I mean, before I'm ready to sew it in, like, dye the pages, so. The puppy came in. Here, let me take your thing off. Come here. The dog came in. She was outside with the kids, and now she's back in, so. Since, by, since by, it's been a while since you bought a ream. Well, Amberly says three. Don says four. Here, it's like five or six. But still, the point is, is that, you know, why spend money on something that you can create yourself and have a good time with? The binding is so easy. You can't... That's This is the easiest way. Oh, well, I get... Or the, I guess the twine binding is easier. But... So... Did, Vicki, did you make a... Um, no more vanity? Glasses it is. <laughs> I don't have any vanity. I can't have any vanity. Now, if you wanted to put, see, now look, isn't this cute? So you make your own cover, like you do your own, um, or like that butterfly cover that I made, with, like this cover. Can you imagine? So you make one of these, and you put, you put your, tw you put your, your twenty pages folded in it, right? You sew your thing, and then you put a little clip on it. You get, you, you make, you spend the time to make the little clip. You spend the time to make your little. Your little journaling clip. Hi, Samara. How are you? Carrie, go for it. You know, especially because you're you're making all those things for those ladies, right? So if you've got some paper napkins, go and get those little get some inexpensive paper napkins. Do the paper napkin decoupage on the front. You can just paint. I just paint and spray inked on the inside. You could do paper napkins on the inside or nothing. It doesn't really matter. You put or you could put some coffee or tea dyed paper and then sew your or put your pockets inside. You know, make those library pockets. Those library pockets that I make, make those. Put those in there, right? The library pockets, and then you're good to go. Vicki, I live in the Hawaiian Islands, and I I'm barefoot, I would say, 90% of the time, except for when I go to the store, which I do wear flip-flops, and I live in t-shirt, a t-shirt, and a pair of capri pants. Occasionally a pair of jeans if it's cold, and shorts, it's been really hot, but for the most part, I usually wear just like capri pants, a t-shirt, and a pair of flip-flops. Good night, Nancy! Nancy, it is that simple. All I'm saying is that, okay, so how much does a package of these cost you guys? Can't you get them at the dollar store? We don't have a dollar store here, but how many of how many envelopes come in a package? Ten? Ten of these 
six by nine envelopes in a package for a dollar, and you're saying you can get your paper for, <coughs> say, four dollars a ream. Wow, good for you, Grace. I'm too chicken to have any sort of surgery. I'm sorry. I'm just a chicken. I can't help. So let's let's just do the money on this. So a paper, a package of paper napkins. You can get a package of paper napkins for what, like two dollars at Tuesday morning. So paper napkins for two dollars, and I don't know how many come in a paper, package of paper napkins. Twenty five, or twenty five napkins in a, for two dollars, or maybe they're fifty. I don't know. So you're basically looking at one paper napkin. So say 10 for a dollar, so you got 10 cents for this. Your paper napkin is probably similar. And then your 10 pieces of paper folded in half, uh, cut in half, and then sewn in. So what is that? It's probably under 50 cents a journal. And then if you wanted to make your paper clip embellishments out of your serendipity paper, or put those flowers on the top of it, put the flowers on the top of your journal. So I'm just saying you could take you could take that one of those paper flowers that we made. I don't have my paper flower bag of them I moved on. Take one of those paper flowers that we made and put it on the front, you know. And there, I mean it's a really it's a really fun little journal to have in your purse. So I don't know what I, how I'm gonna cover this one, but probably with those crazy spray inks, because you guys know how much I love those. Okay, so who is game for me with to make with me Carla's meander book? Well, a meander book. Yes, use the Sunday comics to cover yours. That sounds great. So, you know, Mildred, I... So then go look at... Um, the Dollar Tree has some paper napkins, I know. And I know... You know where else has napkins is... Um, you guys, what is it? Old World Market. I when I went to visit my sister, I went to Old World Market. I bought napkins. You could also buy them at TJ Maxx or Ross. Sometimes, if you look at the or Marshalls and um, Dollar Tree, all I'm saying is that you get the idea. So if you don't want to put a paper napkin on it, stamp. Do some stamping on some tissue paper, or paint it, or you know cover it with the Sunday Comics, as she said, or. You no, know, do our serendipity paper on it, or stamp on it, or paint it, or, you know, you, the, the ideas are endless. But I'm just saying, they make really nice gifts for the cost of what you have in it, right? If you And it's not, I'm not telling you to get all fancy and do like a million things to it. You'll do a meander book again? Okay, Vicki. I tried to find the ones that I made last year, and I've made them before. I took a book binding class when I was in my early 20s, and I was upset. Well, I made did book arts... I told you guys about my mom. She was an artist and a paper maker and all kinds of stuff and a dancer. And so I had made book arts when I was a kid growing up. All kinds of books. But not necessarily, I don't know. You know when you're a kid you're not as, you're not as open to it as when you're an adult. And you're like, why? <coughs> why didn't I learn more from them? Or why didn't I do more? So... I'm going to put my tea down. Hopefully I won't spill it. So here is a base of a meander book. This one was made from a 12 by 12 piece of card, uh, scrapbooking paper. And the whole idea is that you never know what you're going to see and how it's going to open up and what you're going to get to, right? I don't know the origin of a meander book, you know, but they've been around a long time and you know, they're kind of a fun way to, you know, you could make somebody a birthday card like this. You could make it into a little scrapbook. Now, you do have to measure more accurately than I did. But you know what, for me, I'm just going to collage all over it. So I figured that it's going to get bigger and fatter anyway. And at the end, I would trim it all up. Okay, it looks a whole lot more complicated than it is. Okay, and this one's not decorated. So what I thought maybe we could do together is get a piece of scrapbooking paper or for those of you that don't have any scrapbooking paper, you can do what I do and use your trash. This is a brown paper bag, shopping bag, and I have covered it with my book pages and my painty papers. 
You know, also, you guys, as soon as the holidays are over, there's always some amazing napkins. I, you know, my sister sends me napkins. Periodically, I'll get like a, you know, a package and it'll just have paper napkins in it because she knows I'm into it. And I've seen it, even at like um, an expensive, a store that would be more expensive than Tuesday morning. You know, at a, at a, you know, Bloomingdale's or Macy's or that kind of thing. Um, what did you tell me? What do I put on the inside flap to keep it from sticking to the other side? Carrie, I usually cover mine. What did I do with that? I'm sorry, honey, I just laid it down. I usually cover the inside with paper. You know what? If you start... I'm sorry, the dog's decided she's going to bark. This one I painted. Okay, this one I just painted with gesso. Or, I don't think it was gesso. I think it was cheap acrylic paint. And so it didn't stick. But, you know, you can put paper inside of them. Like, you could... You could take the same napkins that you were using on the outside or whatever, and then you just want to glue it a little bit on the inside. See how I painted on the inside of this one just a little bit? Do you see? I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? So. Look in places where you wouldn't think about um, but you can cover it with paper, and then what I often do, now look, you don't have to, you could even, if you didn't want it to be, if you didn't want to flap over it, you could even glue it down. What I most of the time do is punch a hole here, like put a little hole here, and then I wrap and tie some ribbon to it, and that's what the binding is. But you could also, since you got magnets, you could, if before you sew it together, though, you have to do this, before you sew it together, Carrie, is you'd have to go through the back end, and you'd have to put a magnet here, right and then you could put a magnet here and then it, or put your magnet somewhere in the center here wherever it would land and then put your magnet there and you could use it as a magnet closure too what are you multitasking Don what did I miss what are you and you've got Carla's videos on your I love her you guys if you want to learn a lot about organic working organically and which for me is everything and if you want to learn a lot about um, you know making collage books which I think for many of us is intimidating go and hang out with her she and she's she shows all kinds of stuff I really and I like hang like I art along with her although today I didn't art along I wanted to I didn't get to art along I had kid stuff <laughs> so you need your paper. Now, this one is a 4x4, four four, uh, p. it's a, the same scrapbooking paper. It only ends up with nine, I'm going to have to fold that out so you can see it, it only ends up with nine squares, well more than that if you count the back, but nine squares. Whereas when, and this is a four inch one, whereas if you do a same 12x12 12 12 and you do them three inches, you end up with a lot more variables. Now there's a bunch of different ways to cut a meander book, but I'm going to cut this one the traditional way, which is like an M or a W. Do you see like, this one is like an M, do you see it when you cut it, right? Or a W, I guess, a W or an M, whichever way you want to look at it. Okay, so, but I'm going to make mine out of this serendipity paper. Or we could make one out of scrapbooking paper, and then we could make one out of serendipity paper. It's not... It looks so much harder than it is, you guys. So, what I want to do first is I want to measure. I'm going to use my 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook paper to, and then you decorate all the sides. Okay, you collage or paint or do something on all the sides. What I want to do is I want to um, decide. I want to put my piece of scrap of paper down and cut around it. But you could use your, I, don't, I guess I don't need all my wax paper. You guys know me and my painty wax papers everywhere. You could go to your paper cutter and do it. I'm just going to, I'm going to cut, I'm going to freehand cut mine. Which may make it a little wonky when I fold it, but that's okay. It's all handmade, right? Now, I made mine out of a paper bag. Remember, you guys, the back is a paper bag. I can go back and paint it, or I can leave it plain for collage. But 
I get tired of hearing over and over again about how people don't have any, how, you know, they don't have any arting supplies and this and that. If you can make it to the grocery store, we all shop at the grocery store, you have supplies. Most every grocery store will give you a freebie, um, you know, free throwaway flyers. Most every grocery store has their version of a brown paper bag. And if you can't find, and if you really can't find anything, make it out of magazine pages. You could do the same thing out of magazine pages. Okay. You could make, you could collage and make, you could, you just need a base to put them on. So, you know, you just have to make your base. So I'm just going to cut my, my serendipity paper into a 12 by 12 piece of paper. Have you guys gone over and put on what's on your crafty bucket list? Have you guys done that? Have you guys added that to the, we did, we're doing a poll over in our group, what's on your crafty bucket list? So, if you guys haven't added what's on your crafty bucket list, please do. There's a reason I'm asking, so please do add what's on your crafty bucket list. And Friday, for those of you that want to go ahead and continue to make along in our make along gifting series, Friday we're going to be making snowflakes. So you need seed beads and some wire. So you need like, I don't know, two or three different size seed beads. Bugle beads too if you want to make yours have bugle beads on them. I'll show you how to do it with both, with bugle beads and with just seed beads. And you need whatever wire will go through your beads. Okay, so there's my, there's my, my personalized handmade 12 by 12 scrap of paper. <clears throat> okay, now you could measure this. I'm going to do it the non-measuring way and you guys will just have to bear with me. You can measure, you can take it to your scoreboard and you can measure your three inches. You know, you could take it to your Martha Stewart scoreboard. Oh, you guys, what did I do with my bone folder? <laughs> I need my bone folder. You guys, this is how my day rolls. All right, I'll tell you guys a great... I'm going to have to use the back of my scissors as a bone folder. This is so frustrating, you guys. I don't know where I put... Uh, I let my kids use my stuff, and sometimes it just doesn't come back. Okay. Well, I won't be using my bone folder. I'll be using the back of my scissors. So, see, there you go. <laughs> so... If you're gonna do it, if you're gonna make a three inch one, the first thing you wanna do is fold one side to meet the other side, okay? And mine may be a little rough because I have all that paper, all that extra, because I've glued it together, you know what I mean? I have mine as like painted papers inside. And then I will tell you guys my most ridiculous happening of the week, which I'm sure I'll never live it down, so I have to be careful. Right, Brenda? I'll never hear it down. Pity Pat Pat will never hear it down. Okay. This is how you do it when you have no tools, girls. <laughs> and half. And use your scissors as a bone folder. <laughs> you folded it in half. Now I'm going to take this side and I'm going to fold it to that fold, into the center fold. Probably should have made sure my edges were totally straight, but I didn't, but that's okay. Because you guys are just going to rock this with me and we're going to be just fine. <laughs> oh Lord, you guys, this is my life. See, this is why I need KonMari, because then I would never, I would know where my my bone folder is. Okay, so now you have it folded like this. Well, I'm going to fold it back a little bit because it needs to. My painted papers are coming up because I didn't glue them down well. So, 
Do you guys want to have a good laugh? Okay, you want to, are you ready for my, my most ridiculousness of the week? Okay. So you guys, I'm not a big fast food eater. First of all, I live on an island and there's not a lot of fast food places here. I mean, maybe there are. I'm just not a big... But, you know, I have a 10-year-old and she loves to go... Okay, she loves to eat at McDonald's and occasionally I relent and I take her because we do have a McDonald's. I mean, I have a lot of other things, but we have a McDonald's. So the other night... And they built one not too far from where we are. Now, the other one you're going to fold back into the center as well, Okay you're going to end up with four folds. So the other night, we, she said, please, you know, could but I take her, ba 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 la, la, la. I'm like, oh, okay. Now, they just built, like, a new one not far from where I live. Okay? And, you know, it's, it's dark. It gets really dark here early. Okay, to go back and use your scissors as your bone folder, you guys. Because I don't have my bone folder out. I guess this proves my point even more. You don't even need a bone folder. But you do need some scissors, some glue, and some paper. So, I go to take her. Susan, are you and Bat still here? Are you girls still hanging out? Or did I lose you? I guess I should make sure all my bits are all folded down. Are you girls hanging out still here? I don't see yet. Have you guys chatted and I'm missing it? Let me see. Sometimes a chat gets stuck on my end. So, lurkers, say hi. Lurkers, lurkers, say hi. Okay, so now we have it. It looks like this. It looks like a W or an M. Do you see it like that? So... I'm even embarrassed to say this. Brenda, are you going to hold this against me if I tell you? Are you going to like, am I never going to hear the end of it? <laughs> am I never going to hear the end of it if I tell you? So, I go to take her to McDonald's and it's dark. It's really, really, really dark. And I pull into the shopping mall where I live. So you have it this way. Now we have to fold it the opposite way, okay? Now we have to do exactly what we did going this direction. So you're going to fold it again in half the other way. So we go in, we drive through the, it's, it's not even that late. It's like 8 o'clock at night. And we pull in, and I'm asking her what she wants. We pull through this dark out, the dark area where the drive through is, and ask her what she wants. And she tells me what she wants. So I pull up to this window and I start telling the lady, you know, you know, this is what we want. French fries and a chicken sandwich and whatever, right? And I tell the lady and I go, and no mayonnaise. I'm giving her the whole list. Are you guys ready for this? I am not at McDonald's. I am at Starbucks. I am in the drive through at Starbucks. And the lady lets me get through the whole thing. And then tells me, then tells me, uh, <laughs> tells me, she goes, after I, after I tell her everything, like, she could have stopped me. And the other thing is, is she didn't say, like, welcome to Starbucks. And I was just like, oh, my God. And you guys, things are not lit up here. Like, there's no big signs and big whatever. It's just, anyway, it's ridiculous. So I pull into Starbucks and I order her a chicken sandwich with fries. That is my life. I came home and I was telling, was telling Hottie about it, and he laughed so hard. He says, "That is so you." Okay, so you're gonna do the same thing the opposite way. Are you guys still here? My chat. I can't even see the chat because my computer's doing something weird. So can you guys chat and I'll cap somebody and let me see if it comes up. I can see how I can see all of you watching, but I can't see. I don't know if my chat's stuck or what. So, that's my life, you guys. That's my life.
Can you guys, somebody chat me in the chat? Because I can see you guys chat. I can't, it won't come up on my computer. So you want to fold it the same way. I'm going to fold it back into this. So, so do you see what we've done so far? We folded it in half this way. We folded it three and thirds this way. Now we're doing it the same way, the opposite direction. Okay? Does that work? Did I lose ya? All right, girls, give me a second. Give me a second. Ah, I can't tell if it's still working or not. I think my computer's stuck. So that is what's going on with my world. You guys, is that the most ridiculous thing you've ever heard? Anyway, so let's fold it this way. So let's fold it. Okay, so we folded it one way, and then now we're going to do the same thing the other direction. Okay? You guys, I can't see my chat, so if you guys are chatting with me, I can't even tell you. So don't think I'm being rude and not answering you. I don't know what's going on unless I refresh it, and I don't know what would happen if I refreshed it. Okay? So I may have to go back and glue my bits down a little better. I probably should have folded it before I did it so that I would see my bits, but I didn't. You know, I'd, so I could see where I glued them or whatever, but I didn't do that. That would have just made it too smart, right? If I'd done that. Because I don't know what's wrong with the chat. I don't know. I can't fix it. I guess the chat is just like, I mean, you guys are probably chatting with each other, but I'm not... It's stuck. It's stuck for me. So now I'm using my scissors as my bone folder. Let me see if I can get it unstuck. I see all you lurkers out there. Say hi. I don't know, you guys. I can't fix it. I don't know. I'm typing, but I don't see it. So if you guys are talking to me, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to see if somebody else can, um, I'm just seeing if my, if my cohort in crime can see the chat and if it's just my computer that's frozen. I'm sorry, you guys, I don't know. Sometimes YouTube has its own moments. That's why I think Carla does hers on um, Ustream, because she has less, less variable moments. Hang on a second. Hello? Okay, I can't see any of the chat, so if you can just tell everybody I can't see any of the chat, that's fine. <laughs> are, are people chatting with each other? Because I can't see it. It's like frozen. Okay, good. Well, will you chat on my behalf here? I'm gonna put you, I'm gonna put you on the speakerphone, and then you can tell me what everybody's saying. Okay, hang on. Let me figure out how to do it. You guys, this is something new. Here we go. Okay, this is my lovely friend Susan. <laughs> you can tell me what everybody's saying to me, Susan. Okay. All right. <laughs> I have you on speakerphone so they can hear you too. All right. Say good night to Mildred. Bye, Mildred. Love you, Mildred. Make sure you post pictures of your house, Mildred. We want to see them. So, did you guys follow my ridiculous folding? And am I ever going to live it down the fact that I drove through the Starbucks parking lot thinking it was McDonald's? Susan, was that ridiculous or what? That was, that was very ridiculous. <laughs> well, the McDonald's, to, to, to save myself, the McDonald's is right next to it. But it was like dark. And, you know, things here, they don't, 
You can't put signs up here, you guys. So, like, when you drive into a place, if you don't know what's there, their signage is, like, you know how, like, on the mainland you can have neon signs or whatever? It isn't that way here. So my daughter thought it was hilarious. The girl at Starbucks, though, she could have, like, interrupted me at any time. So I got... In it, the wrong drive-through thing. Well, it's... They're really close to each other, but the whole thing is she let me go through the whole thing, and it was like this complicated order. No mayonnaise, no pickles, no that. You know what I mean? She was probably really bored. It probably made her day. You know what I mean? She probably thought, woohoo. Okay, just make sure your folds are all together. I mean, you know, like, it's sort of folded the best you can. Okay, so you've got your, you've got your piece here going on, and I've got pieces coming up. Oh, well. Okay, so the thing is, is you want to cut it like this. Okay, so I've got my, you can tell me, interrupt me anytime, Susan, and tell me if somebody says something, because I can't, um, I can't, I won't know since it's stuck on my computer. So you're going to, you're going to cut up three squares, and then you're not going to cut those two. You're going to cut down the middle to three squares, leaving one at the bottom, because you've got to have something to hold it up, and you're going to cut up three squares. Okay? Do you guys get it? Like an M? Like an M. Alright? So, and mine's not going to be perfect. Carly uses an X-Acto knife for hers. You guys, you guys saw my Rambo knife. I'm not going to do my Rambo knife. So... So you need to know that Dawn stole the, the money tube at the bank drive through You did, Dawn? Woohoo! <laughs> Why did you steal the money tube? Was that a mistake or was it on purpose? Because you always wanted one. It was a mistake. You drove away with it by mistake. <laughs> well, Dawn, that's not that's not terrible. I mean, I don't think I've done that yet. How are you, Susan? Are you crafting along? No, I am uh, monitoring chat for a, a crazy YouTube lady. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Susan. That, that orders McDonald's at Starbucks. You guys, we just got that Starbucks, too. It's, like, ridiculous. I went ahead and ordered a coffee. I felt so embarrassed. I was like, okay, it's 8 o'clock at night. And I don't even think Starbucks even stays open that late. But whatever they did here. Now, you guys, practice making these because they are really fun. I made one for my daughter. If, if I can get her to lend it back to me. I made hers with, like, baby pictures of herself, so she loved it. Um, Lisa Deal wants you to show the cuts again, please. Okay. Give me one second. Let me just finish cutting this, and I'll be happy to show it to you. I'm sorry, you guys. How ridiculous the chat went out. Okay. Can you see them on here, Lisa? Here. Okay, it's all folded up. Okay, see, this is the page, this is the busy page. Okay, the busy side, it's like this. Three up, because there's gonna be, when you start folding it, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, each one of these folds makes a page, right? So, it's gonna be like an M, right? I don't know, can you see it better on the busy one? Or can you see it better on the scrapbooking one? And then once you mess with it for a little while, it's gonna start, it, it's gonna become your meander book. Okay, do you see? So you're going to fold it up. You're going to fold it. I mean, you're going to have three, all the way at one, two, three squares, and you're going to cut up to that. You're going to skip two. Then you're going to cut down three squares, skip these two, and then cut up three squares and skip those two. So it's like an M. Can you see it? So then you start to fold, and the folding part's the fun part. Now, you realize I'm going to be able to go back and work on and decorate the back of my book, but decorate my brown part, and mine isn't going to be perfect. You guys have to practice with it, may, and butts with it. Please let go of the idea that you need to have anything be perfect. Please, please, please. Okay? So the folding part is fun. Okay, so it's, you've already, because you folded it, when you, when you scored it, you folded it this way, right? And you folded it this way, and you folded it again, and then you did it the opposite way. It's already scored. So you might want to take your bone folder and make it a little bit more or better, but it's already basically in its own 
whole thing. You know, and then just futz with it for a little bit. You know, these are like a little bit futzy, and because it's my because mine's made out of a brown paper bag, it's not not going to be as crisp as say it is out of a piece of scrapbook paper, and because I collaged on it, it's going to be fatter. So if you make one out of scrapbooking paper and it didn't come out great, so what? Collage on top of it anyway. These are your creations. All right, you guys, what do you think? Here we go. See, now now, now all the brown sides, I'm going to be able to, like, art on or paint on or collage on. And then the collage sides. Isn't it cool? And can you see it? I'm not so. Isn't it cool? Now, you could go back and, like, what if you decided to just put words on it? What if you decided to, like, write a story with it? You know, just put, like, two words on every page so everything kind of ran together, like a poem or a... I'm going to have to go back and glue my bits down because they're, like, definitely coming up. Anybody saying anything else, Susan? Uh, Grace said funny they didn't have mayo for coffee. <laughs> This is, yeah, but this is 12 by 12. I cut this to 12 by 12. Kathy wants to make one. Oh, good. I hope you do make one. Brenna wants to make one. Who does? Brenna's trophy. Oh, well, I hope so. I hope you guys do. And if you haven't joined our Facebook group, jump on over there and join. You know, it's fun. Everybody's been really supportive and kind with each other. And I'm grateful for that. Lisa, Brown wants uh, Lisa wants you to fold it one more time. Okay. You know what? I'll. You mean to fold? You mean to open it up and fold it again for you? Is that what you want? All right. Hang on. Let me get my paper going. Ugh. Okay. So you, because you folded your piece of paper, if your paper was together, you would have folded it in quarters, right? You would have folded it. In half, you would have folded your big piece of paper in half, right? And then you would have folded that end to meet the center, and then just like origami, and then this end to meet the center, right? So it basically is like this already. It's already like in fours, right? And then you're going to open your paper back up and you're going to fold it again the same way. So you're going to end up basically what you're ending up, so you're going to fold this side a quarter in, you're going to fold the whole page in half first, right? And then you're going to fold back one side to meet the end, just like origami, you guys, and then the other side's the same way, right? So then when you open it up before you cut it, you have all of these, you have 16 squares, 16 three-inch squares, okay? So then, when you, then you're going to cut up, you're going to count one, because it's already scored one, two, three. You're going to cut up to there, and I didn't cut mine perfect. You can see, I cut it with scissors. Carla's right, it's better if you do cut it with an exacto, exacto knife, but all I have is my Rambo knife today, so I wasn't going to do that. And you're going to go, then you're going to go to the top, and you're going to skip these two, and you're going to go down the center fold, three squares, leaving the end. And then over, and then up three squares, leaving those two. And then when you start to fold it, it's very easy. You just fold it, fold it to itself, and then back. Like for, fold it over and up, back like an accordion. And then when you get to the end, right here, you're going to fold that piece back, and then fold it forward, and back, and forward. And then you're going to fold it behind itself like an accordion forward, back, forward, and then back again, and forward, back, forward. Now you could put a cover on the either end of them, and if you were going to do that, you'd probably want to make it a little bit bigger than the book. And if we wanted to do a cover, we could use, um, we could use, you could use like a piece of cardboard for your, you know, like your, your pasta box, your cereal box. You know, and then cover it and then glue it on to either end. 
And it, and it, I would, if you glued it onto either end, then what I would do is stick it under some heavy books for a few days, you know, glue it with like a wet glue. We could even do the, I can find a piece of something that we can do. Did you get it that time? I have a break in. What's a break in? Uh, Valerie just came on. She said, hi, Shelly and everyone. I just got here, but I'll just be lurking. We got rear-ended this morning and just got back from the ER and insurance company. Kind of hurting, so won't be typing. Oh, no. Tell her, oh, Valerie, I hope you're okay. Sending you love, Valerie. That's awful. The traffic is really awful on her island. On my island, it's not so bad. You can only go 35 miles an hour on my island. On her island, they have actual highways. Hers is like the New York City of the Hawaiian Islands. So, I don't know what I'm going to put on the back. I may, I may collage on the back. I may collage on these pieces, or maybe I'll paint on them. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you Lorel think? Laurel the purple on it. <laughs> Laurel says purple? She likes the purple that you have in the paper. And Lisa did get the folding right. She was folding over right instead of under, but she got it. But what's really cool is if you start putting stuff on your meander books, like if you start putting images or whatever, or do both sides, if you did both sides with painted papers, right, you could end up with like a really cool... I mean, can you imagine just putting words on here? Like where it just says, like, I don't know, love and... I don't know, maybe I should do the back end. Maybe I should unfold it and do the back. Pity pat pat <laughs> Brenda says pity pat pat him. Brenda! We love you, Brenda! <laughs> pity pat pat him. But can you guys see, this is a cool little birthday card if you were going to make this for somebody. If you have kids in your life, this is like a great birthday card, Christmas card. You know, especially if you were just going to like give them some money for Christmas and you made your little, made your little meander book, put a little sentiment in it or some notes on it. Okay, here's the back side of my page. The question is, should I collage it or should I paint it? Take a vote. Tell me, Susan, paint or collage? Dawn says she uses Christmas paper. Lisa asked, would they work in junk journals? Yes, of course they will. Junk journal, you can do anything in. That's your book, girl. You can make it your way. Make it your way. Let me see if I can find my crazy sprays. You know those sprays that, that I like. That would be Burger King and not McDonald's. Make it your way. <laughs> oh, my God. And Jamie, God. love you more soaps is here. Hi, it's Jamie. Hello. How's your packaging coming, Jamie? How's your packaging for your soaps coming? I was going to look and see if I could find some, some cool, have all my collage, all my um, stencils right here. Maybe I can do some stenciling on it. Maybe that would be good. You have one vote for paint. One vote for paint? What is the other votes? No other votes? Not yet. They're telling Jamie hi. <laughs> We're happy you're here, Jamie. We're making meander books, Jamie. Oh, it's sort of, the other side's kind of purple. Hmm. I don't even know what's going to show up on this brown paper. Maybe I have to paint it. Hmm. Do you have any input, Susan? Um, I'd say you should, um, jelly print it. Oh, no. Jelly printing. My pity pat pat. I have uh, I can do a little of all of it. I got my favorite tool in the whole wide world here. My jelly plate. My pity pat pat plate, as Brenda calls it. Anne says purple. Lisa says thank you for teaching me a new thing. <laughs> I didn't invent it. I'm just glad you're here hanging out with us. And Jamie bought herself a present. She bought her a die cut machine. Oh my god. Good for you, Jamie. Girl, you are in it to win it now. Lorel said, paint it pink. No. I was going to say, Lorel would never say paint it pink. As much as we would like Lorel to say paint it pink, she won't paint. She would not say paint it pink. Mom, I'm thinking. I've got this black I have. Well, do it all. 
Who said do it all? Melanie said do it all. Melanie, you said do it all? All right, Melanie. Uh -huh. I didn't come over here with any diaper wipes or anything like any any wipes. I'm going to see. I have this met I have a metallic black paint. That might, That's what I'm going gonna, gonna to see how that looks. It might not even show up. You know? I'm going to reverse jelly print it. I'm going to lay my jelly plate down on it like a stamp. I'm going to see how that comes out. Mm -mm. Didn't work very well. Let's see. Well, black metallic paint is kind of a... Have you guys ever used black metallic paint? It's a little weird. Let me see. Let me get my... I need some sponges or something. Let me see. It needs a coat of something. I love my jelly plate, but that black one didn't work. Black metallic paint does not work on, on my... Or maybe it would work as a top coat, but it didn't work as a, a bottom coat. But since I started it, hmm, this is what happens to me in the middle of my ridiculousness. I think somewhere I have some purple metallic paint, but I don't know where. I'll have to look for it. I'm just trying to see what the colors on the other side. Janine says good night. Good night. You guys that haven't said hi, pipe in and say something, please. Pipe in and say, hey, I'm here. We would all like to... We see you here. We just don't, we just don't hear you. So please say hi. Maybe I'll see you on Friday, Janine. Let's see what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if this works better. I'm going to try, I'm gonna try some... If I don't like it, I can always go back and collage over it. For whatever reason, I like this stencil, this. I don't even know what the shape is. It's like a ornament shape or something. I don't know. It may not even show up, but we'll see. So tell me how you are, Susan. What's going on there? How are your animals? Oh, they're they're just running around like crazy. Sherry said do black and white. Well, I'm doing black and gold. I'm going to see if this is going to come out. If it comes out, it'll be great. If it doesn't, I can always collage over it. Carrie wants to know what that roller thing is you're using. That's called a brayer, Carrie. It's for, um, it flattens out your paper or it's, I use it for a jelly plant. It's like a printer brayer where you put ink on something. And Lisa wants to know what is a jelly plate. Oh, Lord. You girl. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are too much for me today. A jelly plate is a mono printing plate. It's made from gelatin and alcohol and glycerin, gelatin, and alcohol, I think, is the recipe. Does anybody know what the recipe is? Come on, somebody pipe in. Um, it's like one of the first things that, that was ever made to monoprint with. And monoprinting is like when you make one of something. And so they became really, they used to be, that's, that's how you print it. That's how, um, you know, instead of a typesetter or a, that was, that's the way you monoprinted. Okay, I think I'm going to have to collage you guys. I think it's too dark. But at least it's something. There'll be something on there. It may, it may not very nice. I don't think I, I don't look at it as talent. I think it's, as Brenda says, it's my pity pat pat. And Dawn <laughs> says that she's thinking this can be a little book and she's making a cover for hers and Scotty, I think is drinking whiskey. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Scotty, are you drinking whiskey? Go girl. What time is it where you are, Scotty? Scotty's drinking whiskey. Awesome, Scotty. Good for you that you're drinking whiskey. That is so funny. Scotty, you were... 
Lisa said, is it like a stamp? No, well, I mean, you can use it like a stamp, but no, it's actually like, they come really big. It's, it's like a gelatinous thing. You could stamp on it and put your stamped images onto something. It just works to use for printing, and you use paint on it, and you can use, you'd have to use some like roller ink on it, like you can't use the ink that you use for, well you can use the ink you use for stamping. You know what, I guess you could call it like a stamp, but it's not really, it's a, it's a mono printing plate. You know, it's the way to make a print. Vicki S says hello. Hey Vicki. Brenda's still watching Pity Pat Pat. Carrie says it needs some purple. <laughs> okay. It's 9.30 where Scotty is, so that's that's good drinking time. Yeah, I'd join you, Scotty, but I'm not drinking, so... I'm drinking tea. I'll pretend it's whiskey. I can pretend it's whiskey. I don't think this gold metallic paint shows up really, really well. You know what shows up better is the copper one. Let me find the copper one. The copper one's my favorite one. Out of all these, like, cheap metallic paints... The one that's called Antique anti Copper, that's my favorite. Vicki S. says it's her first time here. Well, welcome, Vicki. We're happy you're here. Join us on Friday. We're going to make some, if you want to make them. You don't have to. You can craft along with us. You don't have to make what we're making. But on Friday, I'm planning on making, unless something happens, I'm planning on making um, snowflake ornaments. Um holiday ornaments. But you could use them as bookmarks. You could also use them as journaling charms. You could use them to make jewelry from it. I mean, it's like, it's sort of a catch-all thing. It's not like it's just singularly... Hmm. We may have to collage over this anyway. So Scotty said it's treatment Thursday, cat scan Friday, and whiskey Tuesday. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Is she okay? Are you okay, yeah. Scotty? Don likes the gold. Don likes the gold. You can't really see it though. It's sort of like dying in the, in the midst of it. What I might do is I might paint on all the whole thing and then go back and I don't know if I'll gesso over it or I don't know. I didn't really plan out the brown part. I was going to paint on it earlier and it, honestly I didn't have a chance to. That was sort of how my life rolls these days. It's sort of black and busy. But it might turn out okay. It'll be good no matter what. I'll make it turn out okay. I'll work. I'll, I'll mess with it until it gets better. So my Charlie today, my little pup, she got all upset. I don't even know why. Like, I went to put her harness on her. She wanted to go outside and play with the kids. But, you know, she's too little to put a collar on her. It'll just choke her, you know. And she runs really fast. And then, you know, it'll just choke her. So, um... I went to put a collar on her and she snapped at me. I was like, oh no. I mean, I don't know what was in the air. You know what I mean? It was like, it was like not a, it took me a while to like get her to like be normal. I don't know what happened to her. She just, I guess she decided that she was like, and she wanted to go out. It wasn't like I was making her go out. Terrell said she thinks the purple would show up awesome. <laughs> Oh, good. Oh, good. Scotty says she's feeling better already. Oh, good. Oh, good. She feeling better from better from her whiskey. Jamie said, "Put some gold up at the top left corner." Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm gonna probably have to like, I don't know, jelly print over the top of it when I'm finished. I mean, uh, not jelly print. What do you call it? Um. Ugh. Just so it, like, you know what I mean? Like, try to make it less black. Try to make it less black. Whitewash it. Yeah, whitewash it. You know what I meant. But it'll fold up anyway, and you'll get the idea, more of the idea of how random it looks with, without just plain brown. I could also go back and collage on it. If you guys do make this as your serendipity paper and you do it with a brown paper bag, um, make your piece a lot bigger than you think you need. Just because you are going to want to cut some of it off and 
when you do it exact on a brown paper bag, I don't think it, you know what I mean? I mean, I cut off a few inches of mine. Grace said maybe some sprays, and Elaine says she likes it. <laughs> it looks a little muddy to me. I think that um, I may, I think I may want to do a whole other layer. I'm just trying to think of, maybe I'll paint it with a credit card. But I, I have to look for some off-white or some, um, because the other side's white, so I should find some off-white paint if I can find some, if I have some close enough. And if I don't like it, I can always go back and um, uh, collage it. Thanks for chatting with me, Susan. I'm sorry that my, my ridiculous decided to be even more ridiculous than normal. Elaine says camouflage book. Good for a man or boy. <laughs> it does kind of look like a camouflage. You're right there. You're absolutely right there. Okay, I'm going to put this in a... Of course, now the dog decides she wants to get on my lap, which is oh so awesome. Mary Kay Lyons McDonald's here and says, hello, what are we doing? Um, we're making meander books, Mary Kay. I'll have to show you mine. Mine's mine's in a, like the middle of a process for the moment, but are you gonna fling some white on there? Yeah, I'm gonna. No, I'm not gonna fling it on there. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna scrape it on there. But I gotta find a. I gotta find a clean, right cleaner yeah. card. Jamie said, "What about adding a little white here and there?" Oh, and I got it. Like, little late to the show. Who's late? Uh, L A H R. Hey there. Brenda said you could use shoe polish, but you'd have to wrestle it from the show. <laughs> you are too funny. No, shoe polish works really good. I mean, a lot of people use that instead of using that Tim Holtz Distress Ink, you know? Yep. Ann said she made one today with Carla. Oh, good. Awesome, Ann. And Mary Kay says she's made one before. Awesome, Mary Kay. Diana Short, she's late. What did she miss? I know we were talking about her earlier, but she can't get up and get up that high. I don't know what we said, Dee. Um, we made a meander book, and, and we, and we sewed our journals together, but I'm trying to trying to lighten up the back of it. If this was just a brown paper bag that I did mine on, but I'll fetch with it until I get it to where I like it, but Oh, it's Susan. Susan's on the phone. Cause my my chat froze. It's Miss Susan from Texas. You're not late. You're never late. How can you be late? You're never late, sister. You're never late. Okay, I'm liking it a little bit better now that I don't have all that black on there. But I'm going to have to mess with it some more. I'm not ha totally happy with it. but This is like more than pity pat pat, Brenda. This is like, I don't know. Like, I should have done this before I cut it up, but, oh, well, now you see, you can see the process for me, so the process may be the different or the same for you. Maybe it's pity, pity splat splat. Pity splat splat. Yeah, it's something, that's for sure. I'll just go on vacation on Lake Conroe, so she's, um, she must be drinking, too. Alta, you're in Lake Conroe? That's not far from you, is it, Susan? No, it's about... 45, 50 miles from here. You guys, I was born and raised in the tiniest town. In, well, it's not really that tiny, but it's a town that, you know, near Galveston Island. Does anybody know where that is? Besides you, Susan? Besides you and Alta? You. What? Carrie said, can it be decoupaged instead? Yeah, I can. I, I can go back and do it, but it's got to dry. Hang on, I'm going to turn on my heat gun. I'm sorry. You know what I might do is I might... I'm going to mute you for a second, Susan.
Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna spray. I'm gonna she my... said it's too loud where she's at. She'll have to catch up later. Just message her when you're done. Okay. I can do that. All right, Laurel, this purple's for you. I'll lay some paper down here so I don't get it totally. You guys, it's never going to be open like this. You guys are seeing it like this, but it won't ever be open like this normally. The book. Do you know what I mean? What? What did she say? No, I had you, I had you turned down. Um, Alta said it's great to hear my voice. It makes it easier for Shelly. And Carrie said love the purple, Shelly. Well, I'm glad you guys are liking the purple. Well, I'm working on it. I'm not 100% happy with any of it yet, but it'll get there. But if you can see the process that you guys just keep fussing with it until it becomes what you want it to be, you know? It's like you gotta, like, you gotta mess with it until you get it like you want it. And there's no guarantees it's gonna be like that. So you just gotta keep messing with it until you go, okay, I like that part. Diana said, please announce that this weekend is the tax-free weekend for back to school in Ohio. Okay. What is that? A tax-free weekend? Yeah, too bad it's not ta yeah, tax-free in Ohio, yes, for back to school. Uh, this usually comes out as a great stamp, but it didn't do that. Okay. All right, well, that didn't work either. But I'm liking the purple better, so maybe I'll just spray the whole thing with purple. I'll spray some of it. That's better. I'm liking that better. I'm liking it better than the black. I'm liking that. Yeah, you just gotta keep messing with it till you like it. Futz in with it until you go, okay, I like that or I don't like that. And there ain't no mistakes. You just gotta keep going until you like it. That's what Scotty said. She said, "Go with it." <laughs> you know what? This is my whole life, okay, you guys. If I'm driving into, if I'm driving into McDonald's, Starbucks, and telling, and ordering McDonald's, you can see how my life goes. Jamie said, "Now add some gold back to it." Okay. Terry said, "Yes, I like it better than the black." I like and it better than the black too. Pharrell says, "Yeah, thank you." <laughs> Laurel, we know purple is your favorite color, okay? We know. We know what you like. We know. Helen, uh, uh, another Texan said, Galveston, yeah, I grew up thinking all of the ocean was brown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You know, seriously, I totally get it. It's my life. I get it. I get it. I totally get it. I did too until I came to Hawaii and then I said, oh my God, it's not. And when, when you were a kid, did you also think that, did you also think that, uh, I can't tell what color this is. Did you also think that uh, every time you went to the beach, you, you had, you got tar on your feet? All the time. You know, it's like. You know, I didn't know what it was like to go to the beach without carrying some kerosene in the back of our car so you, you could rub the tar off your feet so you could put your shoes on. I mean, seriously. You know? Patty said that she loves the purple. Yeah, the purple does make it look better. And then I just added some sort of goldy, I don't know what the actual color is. Some goldy color. It, it, it's, it will look good. They girls, even me. You gotta, you gotta keep working it until you like it. And then... Anyway, it just makes me laugh. You're right. It's like I didn't know the ocean wasn't brown either. It's like it's like so crazy, right? That we that we that we grew up like that, thinking that the ocean was brown. Very brown. Yep. Carrie's husband wants to know what the heck is that. <laughs> Tell him it's a meander book. 
But I'm going to, I'm gonna, Susan, I'm going to mute you for a second because I'm going to turn on my, um, you know what I mean? My, my, this. trying to dry it because it's, you know, it's a brown paper bag, so it's more porous than, than regular paper because there's no, there's nothing sealing it. even if it's dry enough for me to like fold it back up but I'm gonna try it anyway okay I'm gonna fold it back up and I'm gonna turn it over and fold it back up and see if it see how it um, see how it works are you still there to lose you no I'm here okay so now you guys can get a better idea of what you can do. I mean, I, I may go back and re-collage on the back too, but I mean, I'm liking the layering better than the brown that it was, but I probably need to let it sit and dry because it is definitely wet, um, you know, tacky. So, all right, so here we go. And if I was gonna put a cover on, the cover would go on these two pieces, right? So now, if you flip through it this way, if you flip through, I mean, you can flip through this way, you can flip through this way, this way. And I could also have folded it the other direction, too, you guys. Like, in fact, maybe that's what I should do. Let me see if I can fold it the other direction. Is Carrie, Carrie is your husband mortified at your new paper crafting ridiculousness? Well, yeah. I mean, it's just a brown paper bag. you got to work on it. And I may need to go back and work on it some more. But it's just to show you that, you know what, there's no right way or wrong way. you got to do it your way. Okay? Okay. Okay, so now look. Okay, so now you can open your, your meander book any way that you want. It goes every different way. You know? And it doesn't matter if it's but you guys get the idea, right? So, you do it your way. There's other ways to cut a meander book besides this. Now mine's just so, it's so um, tacky. It's not, you know what I mean. It's not, um, I may need to open it up and let it dry fully so that it doesn't reactivate the glue. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome, Laura. I hope you find, you know, I hope you make your own. And I hope you decide to make your own. It, it, they're, they, they are really fun. You can make them. I've made them. I'll find the ones. I have. I made one as a photo album, which I think is my favorite one. I made it for my youngest daughter of pictures of her when she was little. And I, it's one of my favorite things that I've made. So I'm going to reopen it back up so that it dries, you guys, because it's, now it's really tacky because of all the all the misting that I put on it, and now this side is is tacky because the glue is activated. It was just glue stick, but the other side's wet, so it was activated underneath it. So Friday, we are going to do our ornaments. So for any of you that are going to be around and want to make them, you need. Two sizes of small seed beads and some buccal beads, and you need um, and you need them to 
you need to be able to put your wire through it then um, that's all and you need wire and, it, and, it, and we're not talking a uh, precious metal wire you can use um, buy the cheapest craft wire you can find the only problem is is that you need to make sure that what that your beads go through the holes that's the only thing is your bead has to go through the holes so that's what we're going to do on Friday so I don't know how many of you guys are going to join us on Friday but that's what we're going to do then how many of you guys are going to be game to, to join on Friday and do that? Grace says she loves how you're so real making lemonade out of lemons. <laughs> and driving through Starbucks and, asking, and ordering McDonald's. <laughs> and Jamie says, do you have to have those beads to show up? Because she's not sure what they are. Um, no, you don't have to have anything to show up. Just show up and craft, girl. No, there's no right or there's no necessary anything. My only thing is that if you want to make them, seed beads are the tiny, you know, seed, um, let me see if I have any right here. I'll show you. Let me see. I thought I saw some earlier. I may be wrong. Remember last week I was telling you guys I made, cut up some stuff for paper clip um, embellishments and there was a turkey with high heels on. <laughs> I don't know where it came from that I was going to make an embellishment. These are seed beads. Do you see them? Like that. They come in it. you can buy them anywhere you can get them at any big box store and they're super cheap super 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 cheap so get these in two sizes they come bigger or smaller they come in a bunch of different sizes and then bugle beads are the longer ones that look like tube beads you can buy them at a big box store you can probably get them in a in a children you, i'm sure you can get them at a, at a dollar store too but if you go to a big box store and you can't go look in the children's toy aisle a lot of times they'll sell like beading kits there for like nothing four and five dollars and they'll come with like you know ten different kinds of beads so can you see them melanie wants to know do the beads need to be contrasting no you can have them any way you want them okay. scotty said she hopes she's here friday well i hope you are too scotty i hope you are too and dawn says you don't even have to craft you can, they can just drink whiskey <laughs> oh my god I love you girls I love you guys so much yes you don't even have to craft you could drink whiskey so when you guys are making those hidden paper clip embellishments you know I'm, I'm doing an eyeball journal I have friends that like really freaky things I was making eyeball eyeball uh, embellishments but look, isn't this a cool one? I was going to use this one as on one, in one of my journals, too. Isn't that cool? It's just the big lips of the bumblebee. But you can use anything for these embellishments, too. So, And these are all mounted, cut out of magazines, and mounted on some sort of food packaging before I do the next step. Okay, ladies, close your eyes for two seconds. And yes, Dawn, I agree. You, could, you don't have to craft you. You drink whiskey. You guys are so funny. Already. Okay, breathe in, inhale, and let it go. And one more time. And as always, ladies, from my heart to your heart, I'm sending you so, so, so much aloha. Head over to the Facebook group and join Crafting Mamas. Go and check out. Caged Fish, Carla. I'll put her YouTube channel and the link uh, in the description box below. She is every Tuesday at nine, uh, 2 p.m. Eastern Time. And I'll be here back here on Friday. And hopefully I'll see you guys to make uh, our snowflake ornaments. Or just come by and say hi. You know, there's no right or wrong. You can... Um, just come by and craft and chat and hang out or drink whiskey like Don said <laughs> anyway ladies I love you guys so much and I wish you guys a really really wonderful wonderful evening okay everybody take care good night thanks Susan I appreciate it more than you know I appreciate